Hi everyone, this is Plan Free. I'm Lori. Just wanted to bring you guys a video today talking about Curacao, the beaches in Curacao. So you may or may not know there are over 35 beaches, some say 38, some say 40 beaches in Curacao. We were lucky enough to live on the island for a full six months. We visited over 21 of these awesome beaches. If you're joining our channel for the first time, check out the rest of our videos. Please click the like button. Please subscribe if you like our content. Please share the video on your Facebook page or to friends or family. Today I'm going to talk about the top five beaches in Curacao. And there's a little surprise at the end, so um, we'll see if you figure that out. If you don't, I'll tell you what I did. I'm going to start at number five and descend to our number one top beach in Curacao. Very tricky. As I said, there's over 35 beaches. And please excuse some of my pronunciation. I did my best with Papiamento, but it's probably not perfect. So our number five beach is Mambo Beach. Mambo number five. Ah. This one makes the list for a few reasons. It makes the list because if you're staying in the Willemstad area, chances are you want to just leave your hotel or leave your accommodations and go check out a beach just, just for an hour or two. So right in the city area, there's, there's only kind of a few. They're all developed either with resorts or um, vacation homes. And so Mambo Beach is kind of an open to the public beach. Now it makes the list because it's right in town. It's a quick drive from probably wherever you're staying and you get to Mambo Beach. It makes the list because it's there's amenities. Do you want a crepe? Do you want a burger? Do you want a drink? Do you want a chair? Bathroom? Walk through a hotel? Uh, restaurants? So it makes the list because it's got several things. If you're a vacationer on a week or two trip, Mambo Beach is great. It's got everything you need. Mambo Beach is also clean. There's um, a fee to use to use those facilities or use a chair, but your fee goes for cleaning up the beach and keeping the place looking nice. So it also makes the list because it's a secluded swimming area. Really, really great for small children. It's very gradual to go in there. The sand is imported from a neighboring island and it's, it's just well-maintained and developed. So it makes the list because of proximity, um, secluded, safe swimming, and amenities. Our number four beach is Playa Lagoon. So Playa Lagoon makes the list as number four um, because it's a more local feel. It's a more natural looking beach. It's a cozier uh, lagoon between two rock edges. And it makes the list because it's also protected swimming and you can see fish um, and underwater life there. Our number three beach is a tricky one. It's a three-part beach. It's Casabao Beach, Porto Marie Beach, and Daiboy Beach. Tricked you there. There's three in point number three. The reason why is because they're fairly close together, one just south of the other, just south of the other. And because they all had the same features for us, we returned to one of these three beaches fairly often. So Casabao, Porto Marie, and Daiboy Beach make the list as number three for us because there was some amenities, snack shops and chairs if you did want a little bit of amenity there at the beach but far less developed than the big resorts and out of the city, so it was quieter. So you still had some amenities, but it was much more secluded and quiet. It makes the list as number three also because it's very scenic. Up out of the city, up towards the West Point, these three beaches were more natural, much more growth, green, beautiful. And these three beaches make the list because there's a reef just out front. You can snorkel, it would be a good snorkel, but you can snorkel and then dive off the reef. Okay, our number two beach is again a trick. There's three beaches in number two. It's Playa Calqui, Playa Grande, or Piscado, and Playa Forti. We probably return to these the most. They're further up the West Point, almost at the end, but these make the list due to the excellent swimming, the excellent wildlife underwater, and the jumping. 
There's some cliff jumping at Playa Forte, which was super cool, super fun. The underwater life at these three beaches makes our list at number two because we saw snook, barracuda, huge schools of fish. You would swim through them and they would move around you like a poetry. It's beautiful. Turtles. And the, the locals were coming in with their boats from their local catch and you could buy fish right there on the beach. It was a great, great place to hang out. A little bit rocky on the shore, and that's probably why I didn't make it to our number one. Playa Calqui, Playa Grande or Piscado, and Playa Forti make our list at top two due to the excellent uh, underwater marine life, excellent snorkeling. These three beaches are much more natural, out of the way from the big city. So our number one beach in Curacao that we returned to the most often was Playa Canepa. When you search it, it gives you an area because Canepa is kind of divided into two. Again, sorry about my pronunciation, but the northern beach is Groat Knip and then the, the smaller one below is Klein Knip. So this whole area, Canepa, um, these, were, these were our favorite beaches. They're quiet, secluded. There are chairs available if you do want that. But the snorkeling and the swimming was excellent. They both have white sand beaches, very clean. They're the quintessential Caribbean white sand beach. What are your favorite? Did I miss any? I know I did. There's some other ones within the city limits that we didn't talk about. There's some other ones up towards West Point that we didn't talk about. But for a concise list of top five, I think these make the list for us. So that's our top five beaches in Curacao. What would you list as the top five, in your opinion? I told you there was a little surprise at the end of this video, and that is, I said I'd give you my top five beaches, really it's top ten. I don't know how you can make a list of your favorite beaches when there are so, so many. I hope you all get the chance to visit the island and experience all the beauty that it has, right in the city and all the way up to West Point. This is Plan Free, I'm Lori Miller. Thank you so much for watching the video to the end today. It'd be awesome if you clicked the like button if you did like the video. Please subscribe to our channel, share the video. Thanks a lot for watching guys, we're happy to have you here. We visited 21 of them in our... I'm looking in the wrong spot.